let's talk about why does a narcissist move on so fast? If you're new to hearing me speak, I used to be in an 18-year narcissistic abusive relationship, so trust and believe I know what I'm talking about. And don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you're liking and sharing. A narcissist does not move on so fast like how you think that they move on. They choose to take the easy route out. So the easy route is not taking accountability, not having to reflect, not having to look at what that they what they did wrong to you or what they did wrong in general to anybody in any situation. So what can they do to protect their ego? Because it's all about protecting their ego. It's all about protecting their self-image is run away. And how do they run away? By not taking accountability and admitting or even reflecting what they did to you in that relationship. So they choose to talk to somebody else to feed their ego to show them that they're not the problem, that you're the problem. Show them that they, they are this amazing person and nothing is wrong with them because when they are now talking to somebody else, they're going to put on a brand new mask that is going to show this new person that they're this stand-up citizen, that they're this amazing, kind, caring, loving, ama just amazing person overall because that person knows nothing about their deeply rooted um, personality disorder that they have. But that does not mean that they through with you. That does not mean that they're, they're going to be over with you. A lot of times, they just be putting you on the back burner. That you are just there for when they want to, like a toy, pick you up and play with you. Because you have to understand, the narcissist through their personality disorder lacks empathy to even feel certain emotions that you're feeling when they decide to put you down. Or they decide to walk away from you for a short period of time. Because when I tell you, they always circle back around the block. Majority of the times, they always circle back, back around the block. Now, you might think, nah, not all the time. But that just means because they ain't ready to circle back around. Sometimes it could be months. Sometimes it could be weeks. Sometimes it could be years. But if you give them that door opening, they will circle around back the block. And sometimes they could be on a full-on relationship with a new supply, married, have kids. But if you give them that opportunity, they'll circle back around the block. So you have to understand the whole point of the narcissist, you know, running to the new supply or moving on so quickly is so that their ego does not get bruised and they don't have to take accountability for anything that they did to you in that relationship. It is all about their self-image. It is all about protecting their selves. This is part of their personality disorder. They need to do things to always protect their self-image, protect their ego, protect themselves. And they lack empathy to even care how that's going to affect you mentally, emotionally, how it's going to hurt you. It's because it's not about you. It's never been about you and it will never be about you. It's always about protecting themselves, protecting themselves from ever taking accountability because if you take accountability you have to look inward if you take accountability you have to do the inner work if you take accountability you have to reflect you have to feel certain emotions that they don't not want to feel so you have to as you understand this you have to understand deeply rooted why they do the things that they do once you could stand in the facts to understanding who a narcissist is their patterns their tactics you could then take that as ammunition to heal yourself because you then understand that there was nothing else that you could have done to change that situation there's nothing you could have done to you know fix that situation there's nothing you could have done to help that person to see their wrongdoings or what they did to you and you just reflect to say this person is who they they, they are they did what they did. Now let me work on me. Now let me heal parts within inside of myself that allowed that. And then take that and run with it and put all the focus inward on you.
Because, again, I say this in all my videos, how the narcissist gains power and control over you is through your mind and through your emotions. So once you can reflect on those things and then take your power back by focusing on, inward on you and standing in the facts, is the more you're going to be able to heal, the more you're going to be able to let go of that narcissist, and the more you're going to be able to elevate to a new level to forget about that person and move on from them and heal yourself and love yourself and just be the best damn version of yourself today. If you need guidance and help on how to do that, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one with me, y'all. I help people learn how to gain back power and control over their mind or emotion over the narcissist to finally move on from them. If you need that help, make sure you're booking that one-on-one -on -one with me. Y'all, stand in the facts to wise up and rise up above the narcissist today.